And I think... And it's 6440 again. It's that... Oops, I just lost the Bible. It's that same word that's used... Yeah. And see, he spoke to him face to face before he asked to see the face. Okay. And I think... So, he, so why are you saying it has to be different words? Okay, well, then it's the same... Either way, but they have their, their, their meanings. They're like... It can mean the face or it can mean what came before. Or what, or you know, and uh, and uh, the the back parts is okay. See, because on the, the Mount of Transfiguration, when I believe that when when Jesus when when God put him in the cleft of the rock, mm -hmm. and he said him he he told him you can't see where I came from and live, but I can show you where I'm going. And that's where's what, the came from coming from? Because the, the face, or you can't see the face of you can't see my, the the face the what the what came before. Okay. But you can see what's coming, the 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 back parts. But I will pass by and you can see my back parts. What's coming? You're, the, you're, the, you're the adding words to this here. Well, the the, the 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 back parts is like the end result, or the the end of what? What did you say that was behind or or back? The back. Yeah, it, it didn't say end results. Where did it go? Where was that verse? It was. Uh... So, and I think that's where the Mount of Transfiguration comes in, where with uh, Moses and Elijah, and 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 Jesus. I think that's where when he put him in the cleft of the rock, because what other purpose is uh, this Mount of Transfiguration in there for? Okay, the back parts. That is hinder part behind backward. It's, it's not saying anything about came afterwards or anything about time in that verse. Mm. Oh, here we go. It says hereafter. Time to come. Okay, so it can mean that. And I think when he put him in the cleft of the rock, he took him to where to Jesus to that period of time. And to, that was the Mount of Transfiguration. But see, I, I, He might have, but there's not enough there to back that up. No, he well, might very well have. No, but okay. I mean that's just where I uh, I I go with it. Well, okay. We, the only thing I you know I don't have a problem with that. The only thing I, we got to be careful is is that we don't teach something that the Bible doesn't say. Okay. Right. Well, I mean, because well, I mean, and to say that the same word used twice isn't the same word or doesn't mean the same thing. But see, it's used dangerous. in two different contexts. There. Well. How's it two different contexts? Because it's saying you can't, you can't see my, you, you can see my. You, he spoke face to face as a man, but nobody can see my face, and live, and it, and just that, just few verses before he didn't die. Yeah. Well, see the word, the, the thing I can't figure out is Isaiah die. if you say if you say that he spoke to him face to face and then he's asking him, that doesn't make sense because he shouldn't be asking for something that's already yeah he's happened. already seen exactly so okay but but he asked to see God's glory. Maybe not understanding that God's glory and God's presence are the same thing. He has to see God's glory. God showed him His presence. Okay, to me that means that the God's glory and God's presence are the same thing. But maybe Moses didn't understand that, and God showed him. Okay, you want to see my glory? It's my presence. I don't. I don't know if I agree with that because we feel we see the him. presence of. Oh, we can feel the presence of God. I said, see, not feel. Man, but God's glory is, is, is glory. You know, like, like, well, I mean, basic, his face was glowing when he came off of it. Bas basic law, the first law of hermeneutics, the Bible defines itself. If he asks to see God's glory and God shows him, showed him his presence, the Bible is defining itself. It's saying glory and presence. Well, where are you synonymous. getting this at, where he showed him his presence and it means his glory? Where was that? He asked, that we were just there, Exodus 33. God, Moses asked God, verse 18, show me your glory. And God responds by saying, I will make all my goodness pass before thee. I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee, and they will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. I will show mercy to on whom I will show mercy. So all this is part of his glory. His presence, his mercy, his grace is all part of his glory. Well, maybe, that's, that, maybe that explains Isaiah right there. He didn't die because God was merciful.
What do you think, Isaac? I don't. I don't see how that. I don't. I, don't, I, I just don't get that out of it. I will proclaim the, the name Lord. of the Lord before thee, and that's His glory by saying He's gracious, and I'll be gracious to whom, you know. And I'll be merciful. Well, then how are you defining glory? You're using glory as a vague term, but, but you're not defining. You're, so you're saying glory is that He's going to be gracious and mercy is His no, glory? No, 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 no. I'm saying the Bible is saying if 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 Moses asked God to show him His glory. And the Bible is saying, God, the way God responds to them is saying, I will show you three things. My presence, my grace, and my mercy. Then he said, show me that glory. And he said, I will make my goodness pass before you. He didn't say he was showing him his glory. Will the name he of the responded Lord. to the request to see his glory by saying, I will make this, I will show you these things. No, because he, he wanted to see his face. And then at the end he goes, but my face shall not be seen. Mm -hmm. Okay. He didn't ask to see his face. He asked to see his glory. But, uh, you, uh, yeah, but you know, we don't know what exactly he was meaning by his glory. I think, I, okay, so based, okay, this thought popped in my head too. This might be what you're thinking about. It's like if, uh, if I say, hey, Jeremy, can I borrow your car? And you say, I will give you a bus ticket. You know, bad, might not be a great analogy, but... It's kind of like you're not giving me exactly what I want, but this is going to be close to what I want to get to. Is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah, because then at the end he goes, because my face should not be Cause seen. Because te technically God doesn't say, okay, this is my glory, da, 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 da. He says, okay, this is what you're going to get. So. Okay, but then you're also saying, Jeremy, but saying, his glory is his glory, but that's not defining it. But you're saying, he, I'll show my goodness, you're saying it's what three things? I'm saying God has answered his request to see his glory with saying, I'll show you three things. My goodness... Actually, four things. My presence, my goodness, my mercy, and my grace. Okay. Those together are his glory. Let's take this out of the... Let's take this out of... Let's define the word glory for a moment. What is the glory of President Obama? Okay. Look, look up... Okay, the word... Uh, no, no. Look, hold on. What is the glory? glory? He has some glory. Human glory. What is his glory? It's his position. It's the power he has. Right? That's his glory. Okay? It's what he can do because of that position. So when we ask God for his glory, we're not asking for a cloud. I don't think that's Obama's glory. What's his glory then? He has a human glory. He has some sort of glory. That he's president? That's his position. See, so he's showing that, so then... He's saying, my glory is I am God. I am the I am. Great. So I can do whatever okay. I want. And I can he, show you what I want. He show, I uh, well, okay. show you what I want. As in, the president can veto what he wants and not veto what he wants. Well, yeah, he, he, he doesn't show us everything. <laughs> no. So yeah, there you go. But okay, it's okay. Now let's go back to how do you define God's glory? If you're saying that's not God's glory, what is God's glory? His glory is what he does. he can do anything he wants to do. Though that's his mercy and his grace right there. Also, it's his judgment, his wrath. Yeah. It's his gifts and his curses. All of that would be included in his glory. I agree. It's who he is. It's his being in his presence, being there with him. It's not some vague thing that people try and make, but a he, cloud showing up. Okay. How much time do we have, Josh? It just went past the hour. So then we're uh, dead. Okay, cool. Thank you so much for tuning in for the, the conversation. light isn't on. No, we died a while ago. No, 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 the red light's on just for a few seconds at the beginning. Oh, I see. Okay. Let let I'm do a clothing here. Okay. All right. Well, um, thank you so much for you know, being part of the conversation. And uh, well, this is Jeremy. This is Rich Murphy. This is JB, and I'm Isaac. You guys have a great night or morning, whichever or evening. And uh, Lord bless you. Thank you. Bye. Donate. <laughs> 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 Okay, hit the stop button.